So what I have to do now is prepare the soil to go into our global buckets. Um, I've used, I'm using all kinds of different uh, soils, experiment which one does the best, but basically potting soil. And this one here I picked because uh, Mel Bartholomew is a, uh, I followed him for probably 30 years now and uh, my whole backyard is square foot gardening. So I thought I'd try his soil that he's marketing. So bring the soil over here like so. And then I add some water here and make sure it's moist and broken up any clods. And um, so continue to do that until you get a nice moist soil. And um, then we'll move it into uh, our global bucket. But first, a little moisture into the potting soil. So now we have our soil prepared. Uh, it's moist and what we'll do is now we're going to fill our wicking cup with soil. And what we want to do is make sure this is compacted slightly, not overly, but slightly, so that it'll help hold, wick up from the reservoir. Now, we'll insert that in the bottom of the bucket. And we will continue to fill now this bucket. Now around that, where the wicking cup comes straight up, I'm gonna put a little pressure in the center to um, create a column of more compressed soil so it can wick up. As you can see, we're building up the soil here. So now what we'll do is continue to fill this bucket. Yeah. Obviously, this is an outside job. Bring it around here. And again, that center, you want to just push it down a little bit. Now, I guess we're pretty much done with that. Now, you'll want to keep sort of a mounding effect here, like so. And then I'm going to put a little trough around the edges here. Eventually I'm going to put fertilizer there. First thing I'm going to do is get some what's called dolomite. And I'm going to take a little handful of that and dig that into the center area, about three to four inches down. So I put that in there. Again, that's dolomite. Now around the edges here, I'm going to mound it up in the center a little bit. I'm going to take some dry fertilizer. This one here, I believe, is a, I'm not sure that, but you can get it 555 uh, organic. And sprinkle that, you get a handful, and take it around the edges, like I'm doing here. All the way around like so. And now this bucket is going to be well fertilized. So and again, that little mound in the center. So uh, the next step is going to be to put the plastic on, fill the uh, reservoir with water. The next step is uh, taking black plastic and cutting it to fit the top. So I'll take this and uh, cut out a piece of this uh, plastic bag and I'll show you how we put it on the top. So now we have our black plastic which we will put over here. Now I have to cut out uh, an X here for the uh, watering tube to go through. Just cut a hole here. The scissors are not very sharp. So that can go like so. And then I will take a piece of string and I'll put that on. So what I've done is cut a piece of string to go around this bucket to hold the pla black plastic in place. I've made a loop at this end, uh, which I will stick the little string through it and I'll pull it tight. And then I will tie it off like so. Now that's in place, the black plastic's in place. And then when I'm ready to plant, 
I will put an X here and cut a hole, and I will plant my plant directly right here in the center. Not, don't put it too far over to the side because you've got all that fertilizer that could burn the plant. So we're going for the center, and that can be done with an X with a utility knife or a pair of scissors. Now we've got our buckets. Uh, this is what we started with, the two buckets, the wicking cup, a filling, and a reservoir down below. Now we have to fill with earth, the black plastic on top. We'll cut this and get ready for planting. I put an X to open it up. There you go, so that's ready. And now over here, you can see this, this is lettuce and it's been here about a week and you can see it's starting to grow like crazy. Uh, and I haven't watered it in a week. <laughs> it's still wicking up and doing fine. It's moist um, and doing great. So at this point, um, we'll stop here, but what I will do is I'll put up a part two on Global Buckets and show you the harvest I receive uh, probably in about a month, but for now, we got a good start. So I hope you have, will have fun putting up your own global, global buckets this winter and see how they do inside.